how does this whole front-running seasonality thing actually work? Okay, so the basic idea is if historically we see that an asset, let's say, I don't know, the stock market of Brazil tends to perform well in, I don't know, July, right? Maybe there's some recurring economic factor or some kind of investor behavior that happens every July in Brazil. The strategy suggests that you buy the ETF that tracks the Brazilian market in June. So you get in before the rush, basically. Exactly. The thinking is, you know, as it gets closer to July, more and more investors are going to be like, oh, yeah, July is a good month for Brazil. I should get in on that. And their combined buying pressure is going to push the price up even further. So you're already there, right? And you're ready. Exactly. And so you can potentially profit from this thing called pre-seasonality drift, which is, you know, that upward movement even before the main seasonal effect is expected to happen. So it's all about riding that wave of anticipation. Exactly. And, you know, I think this is really important for our listener who's you know, really into grasping market dynamics because it really shows you how expectations can actually move markets. For sure. For sure. Expectations are a huge part of how markets move. 